You start with your weakest color and mix that first. In sixth grade, we're working on making color wheels. So we've learned a lot about color theory already. And we spent all of last week writing notes and um, making sure that they had a good handle on understanding how to mix color and how to put them together. And now they're taking all that information and actually applying it to paint. I'm going to demonstrate how to creatively transform that into a creature. And then tomorrow, you guys are going to be actually building yourself. Creature pinch pots. So they start out making little hand-formed pinch pots. And I'm going to demonstrate how to do that first. And then they're going to take different pieces of clay and form them with their hands and learn how to slip and score and, and start attaching those pieces to make creative creatures. If you look on the inside there, it's pretty even. The clay units are the most fun to teach. Uh, the kids look forward to them and they get to be the most creative with those, I think. Roll this into a nice round ball. The purpose of the website is just another additional opportunity to display student artwork and see what's going on in the classroom. Also, family doesn't always live right here in Waterloo. Sometimes people have extended family, grandparents that live in another state, and they could just direct them to the link and they could see their students' artwork. Yep, you're going to take half of this yellow and put it in there. I just want them to learn to appreciate it in general, you know, find something that they liked about it and, and walk away feeling good about it.